but that is okay let's sprint now with João Almeida we are a bit far away let's come on João oh my god hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of the João Almeida Pro Cyclist mode here we are already on the last week of La Vuelta that is right week 3 is right here and if you did not see the last episode go watch it because as you can see on the screen we have an offer from Cofidis and we accept it so next season we are going to ride for Cofidis we have the new colors and yep this third week is going to be very difficult because um, João Maida will be out a fitness peak so yeah it's not going to be easy at all as we start right here on stage 15 with a mountain stage so as you can see a big climb in the end then uh, we have a rest day and right after that another mountain stage which we have three big climbs then we have a time trial where uh, we can make a difference with our time trial uh, stats but if we are not on a good day it's not going to be easy then we have two flat stages for the sprinters for the final mountain stage of Giro stage 20 and it is a big one it finishes uphill as always and then of course we end in Madrid with a print stage for the sprinter so yeah it's going to be a very complicated third week with a lot of mountains and let's just hope that João Mayer can be on a good rest condition if not we'll try our best of course so yeah let's go into the first one stage 15 let's go and so guys here we are approaching the last 20 kilometers of the stage we have a breakaway more than 5 minutes ahead of us so maybe they going for the win who knows and yep we are already almost starting the climb 16 kilometers of climbing it will be very difficult we have a minus one day let's go João but let's see what's going to happen and so we are on the last 8 kilometers the peloton and yep João Maida as you can see we are on 19 of effort and still we have difficulties to just go with this rhythm the rhythm is very high Ineos is putting the rhythm and yep I only left with Ben Irmans to help me he's going now protect me but yep it's not looking good for us of course this minus one that does not help at all Nigita with a plus four my god I just saw that Bernal with a plus two so yeah all of the the other riders are in a better condition than me so yeah it's not going to be easy. I'm getting out of energy soon. Come on, Joel. And now Ben Irman is out. So I'm all alone right now, which is not great at all. And uh, I'm getting out of yellow energy. I'm not going to make it until the end if the rhythm doesn't stop, really. So yeah. And soon. And there he goes. Attacks already. Lopez. Bernal. Egita. I cannot attack. So. This is very bad for me, let's use the energy gel. But yep, João Med is in a very bad position right now. And so guys, of course, this stage was not for us. The break we got a win, Pierre Latour. And from the favorites, again Bernal finishes with Sergio Higuita, 2 minutes behind the breakaway. Then Miguel Angel Lopez loses 28 seconds, Pogacar loses uh, about 45 seconds, but then João Almeida just on a 27th position 4 minutes down the breakaway so maybe 2 minutes down bear now which mean now we are on the 5th place 2 minutes 46 seconds down Sergio Higuita so the, I mean uh, now the top 3 looks much more difficult even the top 4 maybe so let's try to keep this top 5 position of course now Bookman is just a couple of seconds behind us so yeah it's not looking easy for us not looking good and yep yeah, let's see the other classifications we are in second place now on the points classification because Igita got some points on the mountains we are in fourth place which I don't know if we can get into the first place here and on the young classification as well that's no point because Sergio is the first as well and yep yeah, right now it's it's not looking good for us and so guys we got the level up level 31 right now because we just got into the month of september we got enough points what are we going to choose we are going to get again the attributes or the potential i think right now we need is the attributes really in my opinion i think we can do that we are still young so yeah as you can see 
we just level up the mountain the hill stats the resistance and the recovery which is always good in even the acceleration so yeah i'm going for the progression of attributes this time and maybe next time i'm going for evolution of potential and so now again another stage of the mountain stage 16 now we are officially over with the fitness peak i just got that message so of course now it's going to be much difficult but i mean let's try to do something of course even if we lost some time we're going to the breakaways for the kom points for sure but yeah um, i don't know what's going to happen let's go into the stage and let's see and so guys here we are out of the san lorenzo the first category climb or the first climb of the stage and yep already my team is already out of energy joao Meda is a little bit behind right now but i think we can stay with this group so yeah let's see but uh, i mean it's already with them serious space the peloton with ineos and the movistar in front so let's see let's see now on the next climb what's going to happen and so second mountain of the day puerto de la cobertoria again i first get to climb nine kilometers of climbing and yep some Ineos team, some guys of Ineos are already without of energy, so let's hope they can bring down a little bit the tempo, but if not, I mean, it's going to be difficult for João Meda to hang on, but we are trying our best. And we just cut the breakaway, so everyone is together. I mean, if you reach the top with energy, we'll be fighting for those KOM points for sure, because that's a good way to try to save this Vuelta, but for now, everyone is together. And so Pierre Latour is attacking Lutsenko as well, I'm just trying to follow, but why did I do that? I just lost all of my energy, my god, what a stupid move by me. Why did I do that, damn it, now I'm out of energy, Pierre Latour is going for the maximum points. I'm behind Samene too, is going as well, let's hope nobody attacks, but they're just cutting me, damn it. And now, that is it, we are right at the summit, come on João. And I'm not scoring no points, I believe. Damn it. And we are out of energy. And so, last 20 kilometers of the stage. This is the last climb of the stage. It is Cotobello. We have Pierre Latour in front alone. Almost two minutes ahead. And let's hang on with John May at the maximum time possible. Because we know that we are not going to hang on until the end. But yeah, let's try. Let's go, Joao. And so last 10 kilometers of the stage, we just got in Pierre Latour, result of energy completely. 23 guys here on the peloton, but some of them are going out for sure, because the pace is starting to get very high with Marc Soler, now just out of the front of the peloton, Geraint Thomas now in front, and João Maida already losing a lot of yellow energy, and it is Roglic, Roglic is attacking, oh my god, I will not follow that. I will stay with Nick Igita, see if that is possible, stay on the wheel of Igita, but Igita is off as well. Damn it. It's very difficult for João Almeida now. I'm with Banuel Bookman and Pogachar. They are doing the work. Let them do the work, of course. And so I'm with Bookman and Pogachar, but I'm getting out of energy. We are still 4 kilometers away from the summit, and I, we just caught in. Roglic, Caruso and Simon Yates, but I'm out of energy, damn it. Please slow down, guys. My god. And I cannot hang on no more. Let's try to stay here with Roglic and Caruso because they are all out of energy. But it's not possible for me. I cannot do it. Come on, Juan, come on. And so in front it is Egan Bernal, the winner of the stage with some advantage from Miguel Angel Lopez and Sergio Higuita, so what a victory for Egan Bernal really. And João Meda just got dropped from the other guys of course, he's out of energy completely. But that is fine, I mean it's not fine of course, but let's see where we are going to end up. We are going to lose a lot of time as you can see, 3 minutes and 26, 25 seconds, 10th place, damn it. My god, this is not looking good for Joel. And so Egan Bernal with a great victory, he just climbs up to the top position of the general classification. Joel Meda on a 10th position, 
let's see now and of course we drop one place we are sixth place six minutes down Egan Bernal the new leader of La Vuelta with Sergio Guita 35 seconds behind Miguel Angel Lopez already one minute behind and yep in the top 10 we have Primo Roglic on the 10th position 8 minutes 41 seconds down so yeah it's a bit far away but still the the, the race the condition that we are having we can definitely be out of the top 10 if we are not careful or at least on the 10th position but yeah now Bookman is ahead of us by one minute let's try to regain that but it's going to be difficult of course and so now we have a time trial of 46 kilometers let's go Joan let's try to have a good day and try to regain some positions on the GC and so guys this is it Joan Maiden is about to start his time trial let's see what is his rustic condition it is a plus one so that is very good to see let's hope Joan Maiden can do something good today come on kid so here we are guys, final calendars of this time trial, Joao Maida is getting very close to Simon Yates, let's go now up the tempo a little bit, come on Joao 99, come on let's see what is the final time, and we are 4th place, 54 seconds down the 1st place right now, which is a very good result, let's hope that we can gain a lot of time to all of the other riders. And so guys, we finish on the 4th position, only Egan Bernal from the top 10 I believe finishes on the top 10 on the time trial. So we gain a couple of seconds to him, let's see now general classification, Bernal just solidifies his lead 2 minutes down from Egita. we are now back on 5th position with Joao Maida 5 minutes 52 seconds down and the uh, Bookman with 6 minutes 27 seconds. And so now stage 18, a flat stage, as for the sprinters it's a day to take a bit of a rest, let's go. And so guys here we are for the last 5 kilometers of the stage and I'm pausing because I'm at the wheel of Johnny Moscon but he just stopped, let's now go for the wheel of Alvaro Odeg, but they stopped as well and the breakaway is right ahead of us, I'm not going to catch them really, we are so close and we are not going to do that. Well, if no one does it, I'm going to attack, of course, come on, João. Let's try to get away from these guys because they don't want to do anything. Come on. And they are going to catch me, of course, I know that, but we are not going to win, damn it. I wanted to, to win to at least make a good position because of the points. And maybe we are going to do, I don't know, but Alvarodeg is the first of the peloton we end on a 8th place let's see if we won points to get to the green jersey because we are just one point away let's see and so guys here we are now stage 19 another flat stage and uh, we have a plus one day which is good and most important we have the green jersey back because on that last stage we gained 8 points and therefore now we are the leaders of that classification but of course the margin is very short so uh, in the next mountain stage Igita will get more points than me for sure so let's try to get more points here and uh, let's see what's going to happen and so guys here we are last five kilometers of the stage let's see who is going to win this stage of course it's going to be on a sprint i'm just putting a pace with ben irman just to be on a perfect position for joao Almeida. So yeah, let's see, Ben Irman is doing a fantastic job right now, let's just go 99 with him, but of course I'm getting way behind, but that is ok, let's sprint now with João Almeida, we are a bit far away, let's, come on João, oh my god, are you not going for the win, Christophe is going for the win, no it's not, Matteo Trentin Biermans from Wanti Gobert, I believe it's the winner, Christophe third and João Meda can get the fourth position. We cannot, we are just sixth place, so it's a bit disappointing between these three guys. We cannot get that fourth position, but we gain more points for the green jersey, that's what we want. And so now with this stage, because we got some points on the intermediate sprint as well, we have 171 points, so we have 21 points advantage from Sergio Higuita. So yeah, because we won 14 points today, it's going to be difficult to hold on to this, but of course now we have a lead, let's try to 
conserve this lead and try to get this jersey at least. And so guys, this is it, the last opportunity for the GC guys, for the climbers, for the KOM jersey. This is it, stage 20, three climbs in the middle of the stage and then a big climb in the end. And then, João Maida, I know that we cannot do better than we are doing, but I mean, let's just try our best. Hopefully, we have a good day, but we'll see. And so guys, here we are, middle of the stage, stage 20, and as you can see, we have a plus one day, which is very good, really, it's not the minus day. And all of our team, the majority, they have a plus day, Ben Irmans with a plus four, a life flip with a zero, but there is okay, they are all helping me today. And the good thing is, since we have a plus day, let's just go see, Tadeu Pogacar has a minus three day, and is on the fourth position right now, so... We can try to go for that fourth position because who knows if we can get into that position because we are just a couple of seconds behind him. I mean just three or four seconds behind so we can try and take that position from him. It will be very good really so yeah let's see if we can do that. And so guys we are reaching the final bit of the stage. We have this little hill but very steep hill. We are 14 km away from the summit, João Maida is looking good here on the peloton, the other guys protecting me are looking good as well, but of course Sergio Higuita with the plus 1 and Bernal with the plus 4 will not be easy, and Lopez with the plus 3, I'm just counting on Porgachar to lose time today in comparison with João Maida really, that's my main goal and of course try to finish on a good position for the points. And Miguel Michael Lopez is right ahead attacking right from the beginning of this climb where a suicide of attack I believe. Let's just try to stay here with the peloton. But now Nibal is attacking Pogachar and the, oh my god come on come on guys. But Higuita and Bernal they are not responding they are letting Ineos team doing the work. But is he looking very difficult right now. And so guys, we are almost 6 km away from the summit, but the pace here is really high. I'm losing a lot of energy, now Igita is getting away, but I don't care really, I cannot do nothing. Egan Bernal needs to respond, and I'm getting out of yellow energy, this is not good. Where is Pogachar? Oh my god, let's just see, Pogachar is behind? Please tell me. Pogachar is behind right now, which is awesome, so let's try to stay here with this group. Come on. Let's use the energy gel, aerodynamic position, 5 kilometers away. I just need to stay here, please, come on. And so guys, here we are reaching the finish line. João Almeida will finish outside the top 10 on the stage, but that is okay, because as you can see, we are gaining a lot of time to Tadeo Pogacar, so we are taking his spot on the general classification. It's not even here, I believe. Here it is, Pogacar just arriving now, 9 minutes down from the breakaway and yep I, that is a good result we just got a a place up we are fourth right now which is awesome and so guys we finished 7 minutes 21 seconds down from the breakaway but to Sergio Guita and Egan Bernal we are basically I believe 1 minute and 30 to Bernal something I don't know but we didn't lose that much time which is Okay, it's not good, but it's not that bad, so we are now 4th place, 7 minutes, 30 seconds down from Egan Bernal, who is the new leader and the new winner of La Vuelta, and Tadeo Pogacar just drops down to 7th place, now it's Nibali on a 5th position, so yeah, it's a good result for a first time in La Vuelta, 4th place, on the points, we are 1st on the points as well, with just uh, 21 points ahead of Igita, and yep, it's not that bad. And so now we are for the last stage of La Vuelta, here it is, stage 21 in Madrid, so yeah, let's go into it, of course it's going to be a sprinter stage, and let's try to get some points to make sure that the points jersey is ours. And so guys, here we are, last 5 kilometers of the last stage of La Vuelta, I have my only teammate here, Shadow Maurice, helping me just be on a good position, but now it's top, damn it. Come on Maurice, what is that? Go to the front please. Let's use the energy gel. And yep, I want to be on a good position because then we have a little uphill on the last kilometer. Come on, start the sprint Maurice. And this is it now, last kilometer, let's start the sprint with Joe Almeida. Come on, it is uphill. 
Gutierrez Cortines is in the front and Gutierrez Cortines is going for the win on this stage ahead of Alexander Kristoff and Alvaro Odeg and João Almeida on a respectable 5th position so yeah it of course we cannot uh, we cannot challenge these sprinters but a 5th position it's good of course more points for us and this is it La Vuelta is done the second Grand Tour of the season and yeah, of course, it was not the best, we all know that, but uh, I mean, the, the next season I need to prepare better for the second Grand Tour if you want to do that. But, uh, but yeah, it was not bad in the end, of course, we had uh, some good results, we didn't win any stage, that's, that's true. But yeah, we are on the fourth position of the general classification, seven minutes down, it's a lot, but it is a fourth position, so for a second Grand Tour of the year with some fatigue it's a very good result I believe and uh, on the climber classification Pierre Latour is the winner of this classification Lutsenko comes in second place and yeah, Latour was very good throughout the whole La Vuelta so yeah it's a good winner for this classification and on the points classification we are the winners with 183 points against 159 of Sergio Higuita so yeah we won a classification, so that's another thing. It's not the most common one for a rider like João Almeida, but it is a jersey, so I'll take it, of course. It's a very good result. A jersey. We didn't, like I said, we didn't win a stage, but we have a jersey, so not that bad. Egan Bernal, of course, wins the white jersey because he's the winner of Love Well Done and is young, so yep. He takes these two jerseys, and on teams, Ineos team, is the better one with a lot of time from second place tint somewhere and so guys let me tell you this Victor Gutierrez Cortines I don't know if it is a region or not it seems that it is but what a guy really he won several stages here on La Vuelta I believe two or three stages so yeah our other again just won one or two stages but he cannot get a win here on the last stage and yep like I said fourth place a jersey that's not a bad result in the end we won a grand tour already this season so i'm not complaining of course another jersey for us here on our achievements the points classification and yep this is it for this episode la vuelta is done we are reaching the final bit of the season now for this third season with joe almeida and uh, as we see in this episode Next season will be with coffee this team, so it's going to be exciting for sure. But yeah guys, don't forget leave a like and a subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. See you in the next episode, stay safe, bye bye.